Multiplying fractions with number chips. This is a fun way for students to practice multiplying fractions. So they can move these little number chips around their screen. And it also gives them all of the possible answers. So that re relieves a little bit of frustration for struggling students. So it starts out explaining to the students how to, the first method for multiplying fractions would be to multiply straight across and then simplify. So they're shown how to do that. And then they're going to do a few on their own. So here they multiply straight across. They're going to get 2 times 8 is 16. So they just click and hold on the chip, and then they can move it wherever they want. 4 times 9 is 36. And now they need to simplify their fraction. So what can they divide from both 16 and 36? Well, they could divide by 4, and that would give them 4 ninths. So as you can see, there's going to be a place for every single number. So if it doesn't come out correctly for them, they need to go back and look and find their error. They're going to do the same thing with this slide, some more problems to practice. And again, same thing here. Now the second method they're going to be taught is how to simplify before they multiply. So when the numbers get bigger, you're going to want to do that to increase, decrease the chance of errors. So here, they, all they need is one number in the numerator and one number in the denominator, and they can divide out a common factor. So 15 and 25, I could divide out a 5. 9 and 9, I could divide out a 9, and that would give me 3 over 1 times 1 over 5, and the multiplication is much easier, 3 fifths. So they're going to practice that here. So the first thing they're going to uh, look at is a common factor that they could divide out first out of 5 and 15. And they're going to move that chip right here. Now what would be a common factor? 5. So they're going to move the 5. And then what about a common factor between 6 and 42? Well, that common factor they could divide out would be 6. Okay, so it just walks them through the steps. So they're going to do this division. 5 over 42, if they divide out a 5, they're going to get a 1 here. And divide out a 5 from the 15 will give them a 3. 42 and 6, they're going to divide out a 6, so that would give them a 7 and a 1. Now their numbers are smaller. All they need to do now is multiply straight across, and they get 1 over 21. And you can see they've used every single number. All right, so they're going to do that on the next one also. Again, they're going to be asked to look at 6 and 54. What's a common factor they could divide out? 7 and 49, what would be another common factor? So they're going to simplify those before they multiply, and then the multiplication is much easier. So they get a little bit of practice doing that. Now, if they're multiplying by a whole number, so here they have 5 times 2 sevenths, they just change the 5 to a fraction by putting it over 1. So they want a 1 in the denominator, and then they can just go ahead and multiply straight across. So here, they're going to change their 3 to a fraction, so it's going to be 3 over 1. And then they're multiplying times 1 over 8. And then they can multiply straight across, and they get 3 eighths. They're going to do the same thing here. 6 is now going to be 6 over 1. So that's some fun practice for the students. I have all the completed slides for the teacher. So what you'll want to do is make a class copy. Come up here to File, make a copy of the entire presentation. But for the student copy, just go ahead and delete the completed slides. And that way you have a teacher copy and a student copy.